If you're anything like me, you probably typed into Google the perfect fall shoes. And typing into the browser made you realize that not even Google had the answers. So here is your ultimate fall 2023 guide. I'm in love with this Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel and if you clicked on today's video, you're probably wondering what fall shoes you need and I'm here to break down all the essentials, boots to sneakers, all the above, okay? Without further ado, let's just get into the video. Make sure you subscribe, check out my other videos and be a part of the Bestie Squad. Unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably aware of Burks, okay? Burks, in my opinion, I feel like these are such essential shoes to have if you just wanna throw something on, have a really chill fit. These are my Burks. I have black ones and I have these suede ones. They look like freaking Jesus sandals, but they do the job and they're so trendy and so cute. And I feel like they actually make outfits look more put together. Imagine wearing like straight jeans with a sweater, with your Burks and your little tote bag, off to class, off to work, gets the job done. And I truly, truly love these so much. Another <laughs> fall winter shoe almost are the Ugg Disquette Slides. I kind of have some popular opinions about these. They're super hard to walk in. If you're walking around campus, if you're walking around the office, like if you're gonna be on your feet hella, I wouldn't recommend you wearing these. They're super aesthetic. Like, look at them. They're so cute. They're super comfortable though. But I just find that since it doesn't have like a strap or like some type of heel support, I always find myself like pushing my feet in as I'm walking and that gets really uncomfortable. But nonetheless, like, they're super, super cute. And I feel like they're just a timeless shoe. It's funny because people were saying Uggs are like cringy. And like, I remember in like middle school, I used to like beg my parents to get me Uggs. So it's just so interesting seeing trends come back. So yes, Uggs are those girls. Since we're still talking about Uggs, also having like short, these are Ugg dupes. I actually got these off Amazon in fall. Like, especially in October, like, I would wear these with, like, leggings. So you can wear them, like, even if it's not too, too cold outside. They look cute. And I know Uggs make platform ones, but I super, I really love these. And I can link them in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. They're super comfortable. They're from the company Cushionaire. A dupe is a dupe. Like, if I'm not, if I don't have to spend the money and I can still get the same results, why not? Now these are my two everyday shoes. I elevate my look, whether I'm going for a streetwear look, whether I'm going for just an everyday, going to work or going to class type of look. One of them is these. I feel like, <sighs> home runners, I'm sorry. I love, I wear my phone runners to the ground, okay? If you catch me out somewhere, I'm probably wearing my phone runners no cap i'm probably wearing them they're so comfortable i feel like i've even went to the gym with them <laughs> i went to the gym with them like these are just like my grab and go shoes still these are so comfortable they're obviously dupes out there so do your research and find really good dupes because they are really pricey and i don't think that they're worth the money but once you get them you wear them a lot like my brothers have them they wear all the time like they're super comfortable like i think that they're cute i feel like you could dress it up in a way you could dress it down like make it an everyday look so i generally am a, such a huge fan of these i wear them to the ground the only sneakers that i'm talking about are my dunks i really really love my dunks they're so clean and so cute and i feel like they make like outfits just pop like there's just something about dunks that make outfits look more cohesive i don't know what it is but anytime i see someone wearing dunks and their outfits just like a1 i'm like yeah like they ate and the thing is they're such a basic shoe like every girl has these like i swear every girl has these shoes if you're not really like a big sneaker person i completely get you invest in a good pair of loafers i have these from coach oh my goodness i love them so much these are my pride and joys all last fall all last fall like i remember i saw this girl post a tiktok of loafers and i was like i need that and i bought them and they're pricey yes but they will last me until i have children these are such like they're such timeless pieces and look how like beautiful this is the little coach like love it so much i'm such a huge coach girl i could do a whole coach collection video like i 
Pella bags, wallets, like I'm a coach fanatic. These loafers are so cute. I think they're called the Chelsea loafers, I believe. Love loafers. I think loafers are so cute and so timeless and they make any look just more chic, more put together. It looks like you tried even though you just put loafers on. Get your loafers. I feel like I wore these around all day long and they did kind of hurt my feet a little bit, but I think I was breaking them in. But now like I wear them, they don't hurt at all. And I love them. They're super comfortable. I love like the cushion inside. Like I feel like it's just, I love it so much. It's so cute. I don't know what it is, but Doc Martens just add this level of like mysteriousness to any like look. And I think that they're not overhyped. Once you break these babies in, you are good to get the, the less bulky ones. These are a little really bulky and heavy. I wanna get like the thinner ones. Doc Martens will never lead you astray. These are a tough cookie, okay? Like, you, they might as well be steel toe shoes. <laughs> like, um, I love the, the height it gives you when you wear them. I'm a short girl, I'm 5'3". So when I wear these, I'm like 5'6". Like, you can't tell me nothing, okay? Really comfortable. I love wearing them with socks, with like ruffles. Um, I love wearing these with dresses and skirts. Like those are so cute. And I also love wearing them with jeans too. Like I like hiding the shoes so it looks like I'm wearing the low top ones. I got these two years ago. Really good condition. Like literally such a great shoe. Honestly, I don't regret getting Doc Martens at all. I feel like you never regret getting Doc Martens. They're just one of those shoes that like are just so timeless and serve you well if you style them well. And this is the last shoe I'm gonna recommend out of my collection, but I recently got these and don't come for me because the heel broke. I walked all over Soho and the, and the heel broke. So if you guys have any recommendations for good companies that sell good quality versions of these shoes, I'll let your girl know because I got these at Target. The heel broke, broke. I was like, but I have really been on the cowgirl boots ride they're really cute and i know it's giving basic and i know i saw this one tiktok that was like we need to stop inviting people to new york fashion week because like it was like a room full of girls and cowgirl boots or something like that and like skirts like long denim skirts and first of all like i understand like new york fashion week is different like that's like a really big event with high high-end like designers and people who like live and breathe fashion so of course they're gonna judge you if you're just showing up like any other girl but there's just something about cowgirl boots that just make you feel so different like cowgirl boots give main character vibes and i'm okay i'm not ashamed hop on the wave and be a main character in my own story like that's just human nature i used to hate cowgirl boots Maybe it's because I was like raised in like a rural part of Maryland. People wore cowgirl boots to school and I'll just be like, but like I've come to appreciate them for what they are. But I don't want to buy cowgirl boots from like another fast fashion place. Like I got these at Target. I was going to a color theme party and my color was white and I didn't have any like white shoes that were going to be comfortable. So I went to Target and found these and I was like, I have to have them. But I really do want to get cowgirl boots or cowboy boots, whatever you want to call them from a place that's more reliable and a place that isn't gonna like cause that to happen because I wore these to New York all day. I was walking in these all day, all up and down Soho, all up and down Greenwich. Like I was strutting those streets and that happened. So that's how you know, New York is crazy. Yeah, so these are the shoes that I would recommend out of my collection. These are my fall essentials. So this is just kind of like a really short and sweet video like this is for you if you're wondering what shoes you should get for yourself during the fall season. I know it can be really intimidating when you see so many different videos and so many different opinions out there. These are my true, like, these are from my collection. The shoes here that aren't mine. I, I've bought with my own money and I've worn them, I've tested them, I've broken the heel. Like, these are my true, true rider dies. Wouldn't trade these shoes for anything. I'm super excited for fall because I love a good sweater. I just love fall. If you're really interested in more fashion content for me, let a girl know, cause I really just told myself that I wasn't a fashion girly, when in reality, I love fashion. I love all things fashion. And I kind of put myself in a box of just like talking about beauty and skincare, but I really do love fashion and I 
have a really big like admiration for it. I think I want to share that part of myself more. I'm super happy that you clicked on the video. I hope that it helped. If you have any questions or any other like concerns or comments, leave comments down below, guys. Like I love to read comments. Like comment. I will comment back. I will heart it. I will see it. I will read it. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We're on a goal and roll to 1,000 subscribers. I'm super excited. We're at 869. Yeah, I'm super excited. If you haven't already, make sure you watch the vlog. The vlog was so lit, like, it was lit over there. Yeah, can't wait to continue growing with you guys. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Make sure you are drinking your water, minding your business, drinking your kombucha, because kombucha day keeps this biosis away. I will see you in the next video.